when the violent this filthy creep's gonna make us rich can't be controlled you have the right to remain silent maniac cop badge of silence <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to do a quick video on the Maniac Cop series but before we do that if you guys like 4k reviews blu-ray reviews movie reviews some game and some tech along the way then please consider subscribing because we do all that here so Maniac Cop originally started in 1988 and it starred Bruce Campbell and Tom Atkins um, so Maniac Cop basically is a cop that is, I wouldn't say the wrong side of the law, but he was kind of framed into crimes that he didn't really commit, and then he kind of comes back from the dead, and now he's just going on a killing rampage, and he's trying to kill the people that wronged him with a couple other people along the way. And then, you know, we get some crazy sequels. But I just wanted to talk about the Blu-ray releases here. Um, it, it's a fun late 80s, early 90s slasher movie, you know, it's... It's not a buddy cop movie, really. It's in New York. It's a gritty New York City. Something I like. I like that visual thing. Also kind of like the movie Maniac, but he's just not a cop. He's a maniac cop. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! So there is, a bit of a, <laughs> there is a bit of a difference here. I just wanted to talk about the really... And even Maniac uh, kind of ties into this also. But specifically Maniac Cop, um, all of these are boutique label releases. So the first original one is from Synapse Films, and Synapse they put out some great stuff. I don't, ha I think this might actually only be my only Synapse. It just kind of worked out that way. The, I guess my taste in movies is not theirs, but I know they do fantastic work. It's a it's like any other boutique label where they really cater to the collector. So you have Discard on it, which is really nice. It's a nice Blu-ray. You have the Cityscape on the back. You have a nice high quality uh, box. And then you have actually have some paperwork on the inside. There's some more cover art. And this is their 2020 product catalog. And they advertise that they sell on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Diabolic DVD, DVD Planet, and DeepDiscount.com. And there is some, I mean, there's porn in here, which is funny. Uh, actually, it's almost all porn. So maybe that's why I don't own too much Synapse. Uh, but, you know, they, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, but there's um, some interesting stuff. They do some of this cult community horror movies like this. This is just a fun slasher. It's not Bruce Campbell's greatest movie, but it's still a fun time. And I really enjoyed the first one, so it made me go and check out 2 and 3. So now 2 and 3, I discovered Blue Underground. Now Blue Underground does fantastic work. And they actually just had a sale not too long ago. And that's why I said Maniac ties into this, because Maniac is also from Blue Underground. And I missed out on the slipcover on this one. But it's alright, because I only paid 20 bucks for this, where this is a $45 4K. But they just had their sale on MVD, and I picked this up. And I picked up Uncle Sam, which is also nice. I haven't watched this one yet, I'm waiting for 4th of July. But this has a super nice lenticular slipcover, and I'm super happy it had gotten this. And I think I only paid 20 bucks for this one also. But back to Maniac Cop. The sequel, part two, um, was probably my least favorite in the series. And I know that's probably crazy because most people like this one the most from what I've heard. Um, I actually really like three a lot, but the first one's probably still the best. Bruce Campbell comes back on the second one, but he's not in the third. And which is crazy is because I actually kind of like the third better than the second. Blue Underground, they do beautiful, beautiful work. They, they're they one of the best out there, in my opinion. They're, these looked amazing. These are some amazing discs. Even Maniac was an amazing looking disc on 4K. And I cannot wait to jump into Uncle Sam because this is like a mid-90s slasher, 4th of July slasher. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out also. But the Maniac Cops, these, you know, these raised slipcover, like the... Embroidered. I don't even know a term for it. I forget what it's called. I know there is a term, but there's some raised font on the slipcover, and they're just nice. And Blue Underground has like these things are thick. They're uh, they're not like a traditional Blu-ray box or a 4K box. They're much thicker, and it's really nice. So when you pop this open, you have your 4K Blu-ray and just a regular Blu-ray. You know, it's pretty awesome to have both. And these both have Dolby Vision. They both have Dolby Atmos. It's pretty awesome to have that stuff on these early 90s movies. 
So yeah, all four releases that I have from Blue Underground, they all have Dolby Vision, they all have Dolby Atmos. And I just want to tip my cap to Blue Underground because they do fantastic work. I know retail price for these are like 40, 45 bucks. It's kind of hard to justify one like that, but when you pick these up on a sale like they just had, which was an amazing sale, uh, I think John just picked up Zombie and Maniac himself. Blue Underground, they do some fantastic work. And the man and these Maniac Cop movies, they're they're a fun time. If you're into that corny 80s slasher, then this is right up your alley. Because and especially like I'm from New York. Uh, I don't live in the city. I live on Long Island, so we're in the suburbs or the the rural area of New York compared to Manhattan. But this is in Manhattan in the late 80s, early 90s, and it's just got that dirty, gritty, dangerous feel to it. I love seeing the old style cars. And just having that all in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, just chef's kiss. Because Blue Underground knocks it out of the park with all their releases. These are no exception. And these are really fun movies. I could definitely highly recommend picking these up. Try to find them on a sale. I think I actually, before this, I think I had both of these before the sale. And I picked up uh, Uncle Sam and Maniac during the sale. But I think I grabbed these on eBay for like 28 30 bucks, Which is still a little pricey, but... You know, to get them with the slip cover and they were still brand new, whatever. You know, I wanted to have them in the collection because I enjoyed the first one so much. So I wanted to see where the, their franchise went. And they weren't terrible. You know, I think my ranking would be 1, 3, 2. But some people say the second one's their favorite. Hey, more power to you. That was just my personal preference. And uh, again, I just want to say that Blue Underground is a fantastic studio. You should check them out. And definitely look out for a Blue Underground sale because they are one of uh, the better, better boutique labels, in my opinion. They might not put out the best movies, you know. They're some really niche titles or some real cult community stuff where it's not a big famous movie. But that's a lot of these boutique labels. I mean, Scream Factory probably does the most mainline stuff. Blue Underground just knocks it out of the park. These are some of the best looking 4Ks I've ever seen. So if you guys like this video, please consider liking because that's one way to help us out. And we will actually throw an affiliate link. We have an Amazon affiliate link. Links to the Amazon. It, uh, you guys purchase through that link. It helps out the channel at no additional cost to you. And we really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And actually, this is the first time we have filmed since we've hit a thousand subscribers. And me and Matt are going to do a bigger thank you on Sunday's Let's Talk Physical Media. But I figured since I haven't been in front of the camera since we hit a thousand, just wanted to thank you guys so much for helping us hit our goal of a thousand subscribers. It really means the world to us. And we really appreciate all your help in helping us get to this goal. We didn't think we'd hit this till January, so we're really we're ahead of schedule now. And it's really thanks to all of you. Obviously, we could never, ever do this without all your help and support. And it really means the world to us. So thank you so much. We'll get more into that on Sunday's Let's Talk Physical Media. But it's Friday, and that means it's time for this week's Digital Code Giveaway. So for everyone who's new to the channel, we do this every single week on Friday's video. We ask two Digital Code Giveaway questions. You only have to answer one, and you're automatically entered into the Digital Code Giveaway. And if you are entered, you come back to Monday's video. We spin the wheel that I usually have on this computer twice, and we pick two lucky winners. You have your choice of the codes that you've seen on your screen before you. So this week's Digital Code Giveaway questions are, the first is going to be in, you know, it's still spooky season, so I figured I'd ask, what is your favorite cult horror movie? That might be a movie that like has a cult following, just like Maniac Cop or Trick or Treat, that you feel like should have a bigger following than it does, but does have a little bit of a following. So what is your favorite cult horror film? And then I figured, you know what? We've been talking a lot about horror, so let's do another type of question this week. What's your favorite action comedy? That way we get a little bit away from horror, and that way we can dive into like movies like me and Matt both just watched Bullet Train this week, and that's very much an action comedy. I want to know, what is your favorite action comedy? So that's this week's Digital Code giveaway questions. What's your favorite cult horror film, or what's your favorite action comedy? You only got to answer one, but we're we're not going to stop you from answering both in the comment section below. And then if you do enter, make sure you guys come back to Monday's video, watch me spin this magic wheel, and we will pick our two lucky winners. And as always, guys, thank you so much for being a fan of Let's Talk. Nothing helps out more than by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and then running out into the streets and telling all your friends. Have a good one, guys.